Hey, fellow gliders, this is Bob, and welcome back. This time we're going to be talking about the math column and also some template columns and how to create some math and some calculations as fast as possible in Glide because we don't have all day. So here's what I want to do, and I'll show you some of the magic behind Glide in order to make this happen. So I have a couple of columns here. I have a start time Monday and I have an end time Monday. And you see that these times are in military time, so we have 17, which is uh, five o'clock and then seven o'clock and we want to create these two columns across the entire week so i have some start and some end so uh, in glide you have to your advantage the duplicate feature so i'm going to duplicate i'll uh, come in here and change monday copy to tuesday i'll just do the first three letters tuesday uh, and done and so you see i can just quickly duplicate wednesday done duplicate Thursday done, All right? So use Glide to your advantage. Um, uh, for our purposes today, I'm just gonna do the work week. So instead of doing the full week, duplicate Friday done. All right, same thing for end, right? I'll duplicate Tuesday done. Feel free to skip ahead in the video about 30 seconds while I do this <laughs> and Wednesday, duplicate, Thursday, duplicate, Friday. Okay, according to my timer, I just finished creating 10 columns in one minute. Pretty good so far. All right, let's go ahead and fill this out. Um, I'll just give the same start times for everybody. Uh, I'm not gonna have a start time on Thursday, and so I'm not gonna have an end time on Thursday either. Fine. All right, now, in order to do calculations, we need to do a math column. And so what we want is to figure out the total number of hours uh, for each given day. So here I have a Monday and Monday. So I'll take this end Monday minus the start Monday. So for that, we need a math column. And I'll just call this Calc Monday. Okay. And we can use in our configuration any sort of uh, configuration or variables that we want. They even give us an example here of start Monday, right? So yes, I could type start Monday and it's gonna find start Monday for me, but Glide's even smarter than that. This is the beauty of it, watch this. So if I know that my column is start Monday, what I can do is instead of typing the whole word here, I can type S for start and see how it found start Tuesday for some reason. I can type S M for start Monday. And what I want is end Monday, E-M minus start Monday. So here I've only typed five characters and it already found my calculation, right? And now I can make this look pretty with, um, is this a total hours? If I wanted to, I could say hours you know, as, as part of the unit. I'm not going to, I'm gonna get rid of that for now. Okay, I'll do, uh, decimal place of one in case we have like 730, 7.5 or something. But yeah, so we have start and end. All right, done. All right, so we have our calc Monday. So now we can duplicate this column and call this calc Tuesday. And instead of EM, we'll do ET and ST. And it found end and start for Tuesday. Done. All right, so duplicate calc Wednesday. Replace these T's with W's, kind of get the idea. Duplicate for Thursday. Oops, I typed Thursday or Wednesday wrong. Now, you see here that we can't just do T because it finds Tuesday, so we'll do TH for Thursday. So it's one extra character and not a big deal. And then Calc Friday. So here we have Start Friday and End Friday. Done, all right. So now it's been three minutes. I've already created uh, 15 columns. <laughs> 14 columns, yeah. All right, let's continue. So now what we wanna do here is to say, uh, or create a, a mass calculation, right? So I'm gonna create another math column here and I'll say total hours. And you guessed it, here I have calc Monday. So that's gonna be CM for calculation of Monday plus calc Tuesday plus calc Wednesday plus calc Thursday plus calc Friday plus calc Saturday. Oh, we don't have Saturday, but I could do I've done S and then SU for Sunday. All right, that's gonna bother me that Wednesday. Let me go back and fix that. I have WEX instead of WED. 
Perfect. All right, we just created 21, or sorry, we created uh, 15 columns in uh, three and a half minutes. All right, plus all these calculations that we would have otherwise taken forever if we had actually typed out the variables. All right, so now um, sometimes I want to create a uh, a, 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 um, a condition. So maybe I want to say, you know, days needed. And maybe I'm selecting these from a multiple choice component. Where as I select in the multiple choice, it'll write the values of you know Monday, comma, Tuesday, comma, Friday, right? If those are the days that I'm that I need. Let's say for each individual user it's filling out this schedule sheet or something. And maybe they can this can be adjusted, right? So which means this can be conditional. So if we wanted to change our weekly schedule to Monday, Tuesday, Friday, or sorry, sorry, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then we should only calculate those days. So that means we need to create some um, we need to create some conditions here. So I'm gonna call this if calc Monday. And I'll create an if then else, and I'll say if days needed includes Monday. You can do lowercase too. Um, real quick tip, if you say days needed is, then it's case sensitive. But if you say includes, then it's not case sensitive. Something to keep in mind. All right, so if it includes Monday, well then I want the calculation for Monday. Okay, else zero, done. All right, and now I can duplicate this column and I'll call this if calc Tuesday. So if date needed includes Tuesday, then calc Tuesday. And again, I can, I can select it or I can type calc Tuesday, C-E-T for Tuesday, done. All right, I'll kind of go through three more of these, duplicate if calc Wednesday, so W-E-D, then C-W, calc Wednesday. Duplicate, if calc Thursday, THU, THU, C, TH, calc Thursday, done. And one more, if calc Friday. Duplicate, Friday, FRI, uh, C, F, calc Friday. All right, so look at all these columns we created in less than 10 minutes so far. All right, and lastly, um, we wanna maybe change this total hours based upon which days we've selected, right? Our days needed. So if our days needed doesn't include Wednesday, well then we don't wanna calculate Wednesday. We only wanna calculate the days that we're selecting, which is our if, right? So what I could do is I could come to each of our calculation columns here, select it, scroll down, select if calc Monday, right? And do that for each of these five columns or I can just change my configuration here. I know that my Calc Monday turned into a if Calc Monday. And so by putting the word if in front of our variable in the configuration, it automatically found that column. So now I can just copy the if and in front of each of these just paste, 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 paste. So much faster, right? And now it does the calculation of the ifs. So because um, I'm selecting Monday, Tuesday, Friday, my hours are different. Let's say I get rid of Friday. I'm only doing Tuesday and or Monday and Tuesday. Okay, now it's taking into account our uh, our days needed, and not the calculation of um, our schedule. All right. So in yes, in less than ten minutes, we've created over twenty one math columns um, just using some shorthand in Glide. So use that shorthand to your advantage. Glide is magical and very intuitive. And so by using that, those, that shorthand and using letters that are found within those columns, you can quickly and easily create some nice math columns and if then else's and duplications and so forth. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.